So we are, we, I'm, I'm, in, um, I'm in a hotel for the last four years. Baruch Hashem was very good to us. Hashem was very good to us. Um, in, in Phoenix, Arizona. It's about, eight, it's about eight acres. We found a place in Point Verde, Florida, which is about a half an hour outside of Jacksonville, which has 514 rooms. The hotel I'm in right now has 320. It's almost double the size. And the hotel I'm in is seven acres. It's 75 acres and a golf, tour, a golf course. So it's a very, very different, different property. A lot of people didn't want to travel. Six hours, interesting. They were right. I have some Talmudim that I, I said, come for Pesach. And they're like, Rebbe, it's three hours different. So the, uh, let's say our say to start at 8.30, around, right? So for the kids that just landed that day, in their head, it's 11.30 at night. The whole place is sleeping. And then you get up at 5, 4.35, because it's 8 o'clock in the morning. So there are a lot of people that want my kids up by the Seder. It's, unless you come a week earlier, you know. But this is Florida. It's the same time. Anyway, so these Goyim, these Floridians, they never saw a Pesach program, ever. So we wanted to show them before we go. We, you know, we made this deal with them. We signed already. I don't want a disaster. I need them just to see what it, what it looks like. So they came... The first day of the second days of Yantif. So that was Thursday, Thursday, they came Thursday night, right. Thursday night and stayed through Friday. I want to tell you, everyone that's watching this, I want you to listen very carefully to what Rabbi Waldstein is saying. Drinking out of a bottle, Torah anytime. <sighs> listen to this. So we have a meeting upstairs because we don't want the hotel that we're in to know that we're late, whatever. So we're all upstairs, so you have the head of the hotel, right? Head guy, the big man, president of the hotel. You have the head of marketing, you have their culinary chef, and their head of operations. The top. He flew in from Florida to... And we're talking with this, they have, they have this, they have that, they have a golf course, and they have three pools, and they have, whatever they have, right? I said, the one thing you don't have is Arizona weather. Florida is humid, it can rain, whatever. So the head guy of the hotel looks at me and he says, okay, we'll pray, the whole chevra, we'll pray for you guys that it shouldn't rain. And then he looks at me and he goes, Rabbi, I promise what he said, Rabbi, you should pray. Your prayers God accepts much faster than ours. I promise you that's what he said. I'm thinking to myself, you got to hear this from a guy. We don't understand that on our own. The guy said to me, you know what, Rabbi, you guys pray because you guys, Jews, your prayer is accepted much faster than ours, the Christians. They, they know what we're about. They know how holy we are. We don't know how holy we are. They're telling you, your tefillah is accepted much more than ours. They're telling us that. Hello, and, and, and this morning I'm, I'm in Landau's and the stupid kid next to me is on his phone the whole time. It was an iPhone. I wanted to... <laughs> and I looked. It wasn't, he wasn't davening from it. Story number one. Story number two. Same people. So it's Shvi Shel Pesach. A thousand people. Everyone's dressed Shabbos stick, right? Yadav Dick. They just lit all the candles. This woman never saw candles in her life. Right? And everyone's sitting there with the kids, they're all dressed, everybody's dressed, and they're talking after the, like, after the mire, everyone comes in, everyone's talking, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. She turns to me, she says, I've never seen anything like this. Okay, that's for sure. She says, I don't understand. I don't understand. We, the Goyim, have one night when we get together as families. Thanksgiving. One night a year. Thanksgiving. And after two hours, we're killing each other. How is it possible that these people are with their families for 10 days? 10 days. And all the different families are all in one place. And you guys are not killing each other. This religion, this this nation, she said, is really special. And I'm listening to some way. Maybe we need her to talk to give a share. You hear how they look at us? That art filler is much bigger than theirs, 
and that our, 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 our nation, it's true if you think about it, you're talking about eight, ten days, especially if you're on a, a place like program that's away, you have to fly, ten days, a thousand people in the same place, not a complaint about davening, not a complaint about food, not a complaint like, well, I want to move my room, they're too noisy, I, want, I don't want to sit next to this guy by davening, he's too tall. They didn't talk nothing. It's, 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 we don't realize what we have. Hundreds of thousands of people traveling on Pesach, coming home after Pesach, who were together the whole time. You can't do it. When he said that to me, I almost jumped down on my chair. Because they, they, they also pray. Because he's a really good straight, you know, and he's like, oh, you, got, you guys should pray. You guys' prayers are much more accepted than ours. Like, they think that. They think that because we're still here after all these years, after everything. Mika Amchi Yisrael.